Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I just want to give a thanks to all of you loyal subscribers and viewers uh, to the channel. I really appreciate all of you and I'm always happy to read your comments and to see how many of you have watched uh, the video. So uh, thank you for being there. And uh, today's video is uh, simply about uh, the energy as we have it at the moment. So today we've had a new moon and I want to talk about what this new moon signifies. So it's, uh, I'm just going to do a brief energy update. So we have a new moon that's in between uh, two moons that are both in the sign of Aquarius. And uh, both full moons are like two pillars that are standing up and asking for change. They are asking for forward movement. They're asking for dramatic change. They're asking for huge realizations and huge kind of step towards taking your responsibility as well as moving ahead and and moving away from whatever it is that has been holding you back or not allowing you to be the best version of yourself or that perhaps you've been avoiding being the best version of yourself for whatever reason and these two full moons that we've had the one that will be in a couple of weeks and the one that we've had two weeks ago already is actually a like kind of culmination point for that particular er era in your life or that particular stage of your life and the new moon that we find in between is actually uh speaking to both of them they speaking they it's a subtle reminder that there's a new beginning that's taking place whereas the the full moons are quite aggressive and almost like a raging energy asking there for there to be change and so what happens is that the energy that we find around this new moon is quite a restless energy. It's quite an unsettled energy. It's somehow seeking something but not being able to reach it. It's an inward energy. It's taking time out for, for yourself. It's um, energy asking you to be still for a moment just to be able to see. It's almost saying, well, let there not be movement. Let there be stillness so that I can hear what it is that I need to do that what it is that I need to have so that to inspire me to be able to move ahead right now and I feel that there is a lot of um, other influences here which may come into the mix for you as you experience this new moon today as well as as you go ahead in the next couple of weeks and I think more distinctly than ever what's going to happen is that you're going to find that you're able to isolate uh, quite quickly fear from love and you're going to be able to see quite quickly the the difference uh, between love inspired messages and fear inspired messages so if you uh, look at the news or if you look at some kind of political propaganda or any kind of advertising you're going to be able to look um, just quite directly behind what the message really is here is the message really to beautify you or is the message really that uh, you need to spend as much money as you can in order for you to be able to um, make that that company uh, richer so I think that this energy as we have it right now because it's a very subtle energy and because it allows you to kind of um, tap into what's going on and just quietly look and listen observe and listen to what's going on what you find is that there's almost a kind of golden silence where there's a whole washing down of wisdom it's like a waterfall of wisdom that comes over you and you are able to discern more easily you're able to understand more easily and you might find right now that uh, thoughts are quite scattered, they're quite all over the place, or maybe that you're not really able to focus as easily as you would normally be able to focus during a new moon. But I think that what's actually happening right now is there's a lot of impulses, there's a lot of energy coming through to you, and it's simply about you being able to take that in and understand what's really going on and where you're really being pulled to go in, in which direction are you being pulled to go into. Some of you might be in that situation where you are aware that um, whatever it is you are in needs to change, but you have no idea of which direction it needs to change into. And I think that this is a very uh, prominent energy at the moment. On the other hand, there is uh, an, uh, another energy that's running alongside this or underneath this, and that is of being comfortable, of being comfortable at home, of being really um, content to have things the way they are without making too much of effort or perhaps effort at the moment or having the courage to take action requires quite a great deal of push 
uh, quite a great deal of effort. And this is something that one could almost feel resistant to right now. But I feel that as we come closer to that full moon, one is going to be able to take action more deliberately. Whatever you have inside of you, whatever you're holding quite close to you right now, to take it outside of you. So if you are working on something like a creative project, perhaps, and um, you are still wanting to keep it under wraps right now, it, it's absolutely normal to to be in that energy and to, to perhaps feel even anxious about it. And then to step out into the world in a couple of weeks now with that new project, with that creative endeavor that you've um, been working on and whatever else Wherever it is that you feel like you need to take action, that action is going to be more readily available to to take in a couple of weeks from now during the time of that full moon. And this moment is a moment of reprieve between the full moons, which actually asks you to just go inward right now and just kind of think about where is it that you want to go to and what is it that you need to do. And you don't need to take any action right now. It's simply about um, taking a moment to observe what's happening and to um, reflect upon where you've come from, where you're heading to, and what does all of this mean for you? With this energy, these two full moons and this kind of uh, new moon that's um, it like a valley somehow between these two pillars or these two mountains, which are the full moon, you're going to find that it's almost like you're getting back to basics and you're going to be asking yourself, what is your intentions? What are your intentions? What are your impulses? What, what is it that you are truly thinking about um, when you take these actions? What has been ultimately um, been pushing you along uh, in the last years, which you haven't really understood has been the real motivation for you? Perhaps something comes to light, which makes you realize that, Oh, you've been under, you've been hanging on to a certain understanding or a certain uh, idea of inclusion in a group, uh, which is no longer relevant for you, and then you are more easily able to take action. So I feel like, um, you know, to round up here, I feel like what is necessary for you to know right now is that now is not a time to take action. Now is the time to observe what what are the energies. It's a time to understand what your, in, uh, your what your motivations were and uh, what your influences were, and what of that has fallen away, and what needs to continue to exist as you go along. And it's also a time where you are able to discern more clearly. And I feel like that discernment energy is going to be very prevalent over the next um, years, but. If more and more you're able to discern between what is motivated by love and what is motivated by fear and you're able to choose a path that is more in that uh, alignment with love or with something with, with good intentions, something where you wish the best for those around you as well as yourself. And so that is the energy that we have right now. And I, I feel like if you are able to simply go with the energy, go with what is coming up for you and just uh, kind of allow yourself to let time pass uh, then as we get closer to that other full moon that's coming up in a couple of weeks from now the the blue moon um, which is going to be your second uh, moon in Aquarius that you are going to find that you're able to take action more easily and that you are able to come to a decision about something that you might have been pondering about and you might be able to move ahead um, more smoothly uh, more seamlessly than you have been able to in the last month. All right, so I'm going to leave it there and I hope that has been helpful information. Let me know if it has been. Um, and I, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. So, let, you know, drop a comment down for me be below and let me know how you're all doing and how you're finding the energy, how you're finding this new moon at the moment. All right, so sending you all lots of love and I hope you're staying healthy and safe and, um, Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.